Hello fellow crafters and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make these adorable backing cards that you can use in packaging your badge reels, stethoscope tags, and phone grips, or any other items including jewelry. These nifty little cards are a great way to add your company logo and promote your small business. So in Design Space, you're going to start by choosing a base shape. So under the image tab, just choose whatever shape you like. I prefer the rounded rectangle look, so that's what I'm choosing here. Once you have it inserted to your design space, you're going to go up and unlock your sizing icon. Then you want to change the width to 3.7 inches and 5.55 inches for the height. This is going to allow your card and your item to fit beautifully in a 5 by 7 inch cellophane bag that you could purchase on Amazon. Then from here, you're going to unlock the image. Um, on the right hand side, you're actually going to ungroup the image and that's going to allow you to split the image into two pieces. You want to snag the inner shape and kind of play around with it, move it around, just to kind of create the border. I don't like a whole lot of border on my card, but I do want a dimension, so that's exactly what we're doing here. Then you're going to select the entire image, go to a line, and center the card. Beautiful. Now the fun part. Customizing it to however you like. I prefer a white border with a very unique teal color that I use on almost all of my packaging. And then from here, I'm going to select the entire card and flatten it. Flattening your image is the key to print and cut. This is how you will be able to print your card on your regular printer and then take that card to your Cricut and have the Cricut cut it out into the shape that you are looking for. From here, all the fun stuff happens. This is where you add your logo, your image, your contact info. Customize it to your heart's desire. For me, I already have my logo and contact information preset and pre-filled. So all I'm going to do next is actually unhide the layer here on the right hand side. Pull the image to the front using arrangement. And I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Then I'm going to click off the card, select the entire item, go back to align and center everything. Then I'm going to click off the card again, select the entire item and go down to flatten. At this moment, my card is set in stone. It's not going to move, jiggle or anything like that. You can print the card and begin using it as is. However, I sell a lot of badge reels. It is a current hot ticket item for me. And what I want is the back of the badge reels, the alligator clip on the back to actually fit through my backing card so that when I'm packaging the items, it looks more professional, it looks more sleek, cleaner, however you wanna describe it, that's the look we're going for. So in order to achieve this look, we're gonna go over to the shape tab on Design Space, choose the square, and then resize the square to 0 0.5 inches in width and 0. 75 inches in height. That is the perfect size for the alligator clip to fit through. And of course, I'm just going to change it to white because it gives a easier look on the eyes. And um, it really doesn't matter what color it is because it's going to get cut out anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and just place a square in between my logo, my thank you note, and my contact info. But it's up to you where you want to place it. Then I'm going to select the entire item, go up to a line and center it horizontally just to make sure that everything's dead center. Then what you're going to do is click off the card, select the entire item, go down to the bottom and select attach. What attach basically means is once the item has gone from your printer to the Cricut and placed on the Cricut mat, the Cricut will cut the main shape the outside of your card and also cut the inner little square that is the perfect size for your alligator clip to fit through. And that's it. There you have it. A beautiful backing card personalized with your logo and it's got all the hearts and feels in it. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to send it to the printer to be printed on cardstock and then 
cut out by the crickets. So here I'm showing you that I use this brand of cardstock, 65 pounds, and it has the right thickness for these backing cards. And here's my printer, it's a HP OfficeJet Pro 6968, and it prints beautifully. And of course it has the HP Insta ink, which means that your ink is always shipped to you and you don't have to worry about not having enough ink for your projects. Right here, we're just going to take the printout from our regular printer and put it on the regular grip Cricut mat, which is the green one. And then we'll insert it into our Cricut machine, load it in, hit the cut button. Wait a few seconds because, of course, when you're on Wi-Fi, everything connects a little bit slower. And then here we go. As you can see, it's cutting out the center rectangle and now the actual outer part of the card. The whole process for print and cut between the scanning of the line and then actually cutting the card should be like a minute process. And here we are. So now I'm just going to carefully remove the outer part. I definitely don't need that. And on 8 by 11 cardstock, um, you'll be able to get two of these on there. And then, of course, you want to flip your mat over and gently bend the mat so that you can lightly peel off your cardstock backing card. Um, one, it prevents it from tearing, and two, it prevents your cards from actually bending and curling in odd places. There you go, beautiful cards here. Now, we're not quite done yet. I'm going to show you how to actually attach your items on there. Um, the first one is going to be a badge reel. What you want to do is grab your card, bend it slightly, and then open your alligator clip and snap it right on there. And of course, play around with it, adjust it. I like to clip my card just as so where you can't see the rectangle behind it. There we have it. Perfect. Now, for the phone grip, I'm actually just going to cut a slit on the side. And yes, you can have the Cricut do this for you, but it's just so much easier to just snip it with some scissors. Open the phone grip here. And then just gently slide it into the card and then adjust and snap in place. There you have it, a backing card for your phone grips. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.